Really, it's not like I don't have enough projects to work on. This nice new Model 3 I got, well, it wants to be made into a, a camping machine. Uh, the, the newest stretch vanigan is just waiting to be welded together. There's the leftover squish halves. That eh, might be fun to weld them together too. There's that control board I'm supposed to be making for a, for a Tesla conversion so we can hide the controls and make the classic conversion look like it isn't a Tesla underneath. And then what happens? My friend calls me up and says, hey, my daughter had a little trouble driving the other day and maybe you want to buy this leaf from the insurance company. So it was one of those deals, you know, it's just too good to give up. What we have here, a 2011 Leaf that had a little bit of an impact in the front. Let's see, can we see that? And uh, it took a few minutes with the Leaf Spy app to reset the crash indicator. Uh, a little time with a razor blade and some duct tape to get the, uh, the airbags out. Let's see, can you see that? Yeah. Get the airbag out of the way of the steering wheel. And it's actually a really well-running leaf. This is a 2011. Came from, uh, it was the fifth one sold here in Oregon. And it uh, has about 40,000 miles on it. And 10 out of 12 bars on the battery. And the insurance company wanted $2,400 for it. So I looked at that and said, that is one really inexpensive conversion kit. And I've always thought about doing a really inexpensive conversion. And, you know, one where it takes a lot of labor, but not a whole lot of cost in parts. So I snapped it up and, uh, you know, got it running yesterday, drove around a little today. Now we'll park it until I have time to really work on it. Um, these have been done. Uh, there's three or four that I've seen online. Uh, newer Leafs, where people have put the drive systems in a conversion. Uh, even a even a couple of VW buses, one of them shortened, uh, and so it's not something terribly new, but I've never done it before, and uh, I haven't seen someone really document the process well. So hopefully I'll take the time to, uh, if I even do this, to get it done, to document it, so that other people who maybe don't know so much about CAN bus as I do and uh, aren't as comfortable with stripping out wiring harnesses can see that it's that it's possible that it's doable get some instructions uh, especially on these early models I haven't seen other people doing the early model I don't know how different it is so for now the thought is to put it in uh, my dad's old VW bus that he bought brand new before I was born uh, he always wanted it to be electric and uh, and you know it's not it's not one of these safe, airbag, comfortable cars. It's not a long road trip machine. Uh, but I think it might be just perfect for this. Give it about 40, 50 mile range if you drive it nicely. Uh, it'll have the Chidemo charger, so I can take it up and down the coast where we have a bunch of chargers. Um, I think it might be a neat fit, you know, just as kind of a fun vehicle. So that's about it, just wanted to uh, introduce you to this new leaf that's sitting in my yard and potential project once I once I get back get done with that PC board for the interface and maybe catch up on a couple other projects and that's it well if you have been thank you for watching and talk to you later